Welcome to online presentation. This is Pharmacology and Therapeutics for NTA Level 5. Uh, the model code is PST 05104 and model, model credit is 12. And uh, this is session number 2 where we are going to discuss about uh, drug distribution. And by the end of this session, students are expected to be able to describe the distribution of drugs in various compartments of the body, describe factors affecting or determining distribution of the drugs, describe volume of distribution, calculate volume of distribution, and explain clinical application of the uh, volume of distribution. Let's join together. Now we're going to start with distribution of drugs in various compartments of the body. Uh, once in the systematic circulation, drugs will distribute into section or units called compartments. Uh, the following are the compartments of the, uh, for governing drug distribution. First, you have plasma compartments, which is sometimes called the vesicular compartments. Drug within uh, drug with a very large molecular weight, or those binding extensively to plasma protein, are effectively trapped within the plasma uh, vesicular compartments because such drugs are too large to move out through the endothelial slit junction of the capillaries. The now are in a high molecular, in a large molecular weight, na uh, binding affinity yake kwenye plasma ni kubwa manake they will be trapped within the plasma or vascular compartments kwa sababu ya ule ukubwa wa ukubwa wa ukubwa wa ukubwa wake ukubwa wa molecular ukubwa wa uzito wake ule molecular weight yake ni kubwa kwa when they are trapped within the plasma uh, they are going to stay there lakini ni kwa sababu vile vile ya ukubwa wake unasababisha kwamba haziwezi kupita kwenye endothelial slit junction of the capillaries uh, what is capillaries these capillaries ni ni small uh, blood vessels ambazo zinaunganisha uh, uh, vein na na na, na arteries uh, capillaries are small uh, blood vessels ambazo is approximately equal to uh, 5 to 10 micrometer in diameter and uh, having a wall one with the uh, endothelial cell thick uh, they convey blood between uh, the arteries and the venous kwa hiyo uh, sabu hizi, uh, those drugs with large molecular weight they can't pass through uh, the capillary junction uh, the street junction the through street junction of the capillaries as a result is takwenda takwana takwenda kubind kwenye plasma na ku stay there uh, the second one is extracellular uh, fluid the extracellular fluid from the word, word extra extra is out and cellular is cell so we are going to discuss about the fluid which is out of out of the cell and the extracellular fluid usually is in the body is the body the fluid which is outside of the cell uh, the body fluid which outside of the cell is called extracellular fluid observed, observed in drugs with low molecular weights but also hydrophilic such drugs can move through the endothelial slit, slit junction of the capillaries into the interstitial uh, fluids. Interstitial fluids are uh, fluids uh, one among the comp component of extracellular fluids. Only fluids ambayo inapatikana uh, fluids which is sometimes present around the tissue are uh, cell of multicellular uh, uh, animals. Kwa hiyo, hizi drug zinazokuwa na, zina na uh, low molecular weights uh, ambazo, ambazo they are hydrophilic uh, can move through the endothelial silk junction of the scapularis into the interstitial fluid. However, the, these dr hydrophilic drugs cannot move across the membrane of the cell to enter the water face inside the cell. So they are going to remain in, uh, in extracellular fluid. Hasta ingia, hasta cross the membrane kwenye, 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 kwenye andani ya cell. So they are going to stay uh, in extracellular fluid. Uh, uh, number, number two is total body, body water. Total body water. Total body water are uh, observed in drugs with low molecular weight and uh, uh, hydrophobic. Kwe tumeona, tumeona kwamba, tumeona kwamba uh, kwenye, kwenye, kwenye uh, extracellular fluid, uh, we observed the drug, drug with low molecular weight, but which are hydrophilic and now here at total body weight water uh, observed in drugs with low molecular weight and uh, hydrophobic such drugs cannot uh, cannot not only move into the interstitium uh, which are 
contingent spread for the space existing between structural barrier uh, through the street junction but can also move through the cell membrane into the intracellular fluid kwa hiyo hizi hizi uh, hydrophobic hydrophobic uh, hydrophobic drugs with the low molecular weight uh, zinaweza zika move mpaka kuingia kwenye intracellular uh, fluid tofauti na zina ambazo tumeziona kwamba they are uh, drug with low molecular weight but they are hydro, hydro, hydrophilic zina ambazo ni hydrophilic they can't move kuingia kwenye intracellular fluid other sites in the pregnancy the fetus may take up drugs and it does increase the volume of uh, distribution factor affecting distribution of drugs distribution of drugs in the body is dependent on the following factors uh, factor ambazo zina 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 govern uh, distribution of drugs in ndani ya mwili wa binadamu uh, first of all we have organ flow organ blood flow organ blood flow uh, organ with high blood flow will have large amount of drug delivered to them by one time kama nakumbuka wakati tunasoma session ya kwanza uh, session ya kwanza ambayo tulizungumzia uh, uh, absorption uh, tuliona kwamba kuna organs za binadamu zingine ambazo zinakuwa na uh, high blood flow kwa fonti tunaona intestine 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 in high blood flow kwa sababu ya presence of uh, uh, finger projection like uh, ambazo ni microvilli zile zina provide large area for absorption na na kwa sababu zina zinakuwa na high blood zina lead to high blood flow organ with high blood flow will experience initial high concentration of drugs but this high concentration will diminish as the drug is distributed throughout the body to the site with lower blood flow barrier to diffusion hii ni factor ya pili factor affecting distribution of drugs this is the second 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 uh, factor barrier of diffusion there are special barrier which restrict drug entry to some organs Uh, na leo tutazungumzia hii BBB the blood brain barrier is a special case in general the BBB restricted restricts the movement of hydrophilic drugs into the brain however the BBB, BBB is broken by ischemia uh, ischemia uh, uh, which is restriction of blood flow and the inflammation the BBB can be exploited exploited to develop drug within where the reduced CNS adverse effect CNS central nervous system adverse effect uh, the uh, the uh, BBB is formed by endothelial cell of the capillary wall astrocytes and the precytes embedded in the capillary basement membrane the blood brain barrier restricts the passage of pathogens uh, the diffusion of solute in the blood and large and large or hydrophilic which when we say hydrophilic drugs we mean those drugs which are strong af affinity have a strong affinity to water molecular into the csf while allowing diffusion of the hydrophobic uh, hydrophobic or uh, when we say hydro hydrophobic we mean uh, those drugs which lacking affinity to water uh, repair and uh, not absorb the uh, absorb water which is uh, uh, for example uh, uh, oxygen and carbon with and uh, uh, oxygen carbon and hormones and small polar molecules kwa tumeona kwamba ABBB ina restriction ni selective ni selective kwa sababu uh, hydrophilic hydrophilic uh, those are strong uh, drugs which have affinity to water has pit kwenye BBB lakini those drugs with which are hydrophobic those lacking affinity to water Uh, zinapita kwenye BBB kwa hiyo uh, BBB BBB nayo inaweza ni, ni one among the factors which affect distribution of the drugs kwa sababu uh, ina inachagua ina select drugs za kupita pale kuingia kwenye brain these are the drugs ambazo of the hydrophilic where the drugs which have uh, strong affinity to water they can't uh, uh, pass or pass or diffuse uh, within the brain lakini uh, zile ambazo zina the hydrophobic those which lacking affinity to water and those who does not absorb water zinapita kwenye uh, zina diffuse kuingia kwenye brain adipose adipose tissue tunaposema adipose tissue we mean fat uh, uh, generally we mean fat uh, lipophilic uh, those drugs which ha, ha, uh, dra, drug having an affinity for repeats ni drug ambazo zinabind kwenye 
uh, kwenye lipids drugs will distribute into adipose or fat tissue distribution of distribution of lipophilic drugs into the fat may necessitate a large initial bolus of drug to achieve the desired effect ko unapo distribute blood and distribute drugs when into fat as a drug sambazo they they are lipophilic manake the uh, most of them are going to bind uh, to bind to the uh, to the uh, fat tissue or adipose tissue kwa hiyo you need uh, uh, much more ili ku, ku initiate ku initiate pharmacological effect large depo, large Depots of drugs in fat may necessitate a longer period of time for drug to be removed from the body. Because suppose now, cause bind, where it need it will necessitate where it need a long period of time for the drug to be removed from the body. The distribution of the lipophilic drugs will be different in a thin versus obese patient. Definitely, in Tanzania, na is an obesity at a na na uh, dawa ambazo dawa ambazo ni lipophilic ni lipophilic uh, zitakuwa zitabind sana kwenye kwenye adipose tissue na kwa yule mtu ambaye ana uh, is very thin ni is thin maana yake ana 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 uh, fat ya kutosha ndani ya mwili wake definitely dawa ambazo they are uh, lipophilic will not be uh, bound to the to the na to the uh, adipose tissue na hence they will be distributed throughout the body easily plasma protein binding drug bound to protein are pharmacologically inactive kwa dawa ikisha bind kwenye protein definitely it see pharmacology effect yake inakuwa ni uh, inactive ina inactivate pharmacological effect yake only when the protein molecule releases the drug and the drug diffuses into the tissue interact with the receptor and produce a therapeutic effect once the plasma concentration iki, ikishuka plasma concentration ikishuka uh, basi au plasma concentration ikishuka na some drugs will be released and those drugs which will be, will be released they will uh, interact with the receptor when they, they interact interacts with the receptor uh, they are going to produce a therapeutic effect lakini kama sta bound complete to the protein no pharmacological uh, effect will be uh, uh, will be uh will be given out kwa sababu dawa zimebound kwenye zimebound kwenye protein binding of drugs by plasma protein limits the distribution of drug out of the vascular compartments kwa hiyo dawa ikisha bind kwenye plasma protein hapo haiwezi kutoka na uh, distribution yake will be limited necessitating more drugs initially to achieve the desired effect tissue protein binding Some drugs are highly bound to tissue protein. Binding of drugs by tissue may necessitate a large initial bolus of drugs to achieve the desired effect. Kama tuliona kwenye kwenye uh, plasma protein binding, plasma protein binding tumeona kabisa kwamba uh, uh, kwamba binding of drugs by plasma protein limits the distribution of drugs out of the vascular compartments. The same applies to tissue protein binding. Some drugs are highly bound to tissue uh, protein. Binding of drugs by tissue may necessitate a large initial bolus of drug to achieve the desired effect. Large depot of drugs in a tissue may necessitate a longer period of time for long uh, for drug to be removed from the body. In general, tissue binding sites uh, in results in what it will increase the apparent volume of distribution kwenye tissue uh, represent potential site of, for drug interaction kwa sababu most of drug will be uh, bound to the uh, to the tissue kwa hiyo inaweza ika result into uh, potential uh, potential uh, drug interaction lakini uh, it's that in this uh, sequestration uh, of drugs in the tissue kwa hiyo dawa zitakuwa zina bind and at the end zitakuwa zitakuwa zina zime 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 saturate kwenye 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 uh, tissue uh, kwenye proteini tissue uh, they release the drug uh, they drug back into the secretion as the plasma concentration fall kwa hiyo when the plasma concentration fall zile, uh, zile drug ambazo zilikuwa zimebind kwenye plasma zinaweza zikarudi kwenye secretion na provide pharmacological uh, effect kama tuliona kwamba uh when the drug released from the when the drug released from the uh only when the protein molecule releases the drug can it, can the drug diffuse into the tissue interact with the receptor and produce a therapeutic 
effect kwa hiyo hata hapa kwamba uh, 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 tissue protein binding tissue protein binding sometimes inaweza ika release it release drug back into the circulation basi uh, itakwenda kuwa ku, kutoa pharmacological effect uh, the tissue may release the drug back into the circulation at the plasma concentration fall haya ni mambo ambayo yanafanyaza kufanyika uh, kwenye uh, tissue uh, protein tissue binding ambayo tumeiona hapa uh, tissue protein binding ina results into haya mambo manne niliyosoma nilizozungumzia hapo that tissue binding may represent as a reservoir of drug that can extend, extend the duration of the action of the drug maana yake kama it extend the duration of uh, duration action of the drug that means the half life of the drug will, will increase kwa sababu zile dawa ambazo zinakuwa zimebind kwenye tissue zile dawa ambazo zimebind kwenye, kwenye tissue zinakuwa kama reserve au zina uh, uh, be reserved na when uh, when the tissue release the, the the drug which was initially bound to bound to it manake uh, in a increased duration of action of that drug factor affecting still uh, still going with it and uh, still talking with the factor affecting affecting distribution of drugs we, we now come to the uh, uh, iron trapping iron trapping and trapping can be used to distribute drugs into the urinary compartment to increase the urinary excretion of poisons uh, iron trapping is based on the uh, principle that ionized the uh, substance uh, do not close the uh, leno tubular membrane kwa hiyo dawa ambazo they are ionized uh, they are ionized as well kupita kwenye uh, leno tubular and uh, uh, they cannot uh, pass it through the, uh, the renal tubular easily and uh, are not well absorbed and when they are not well is uh, absorbed uh, this drugs uh, if in, in the, the urinary uh, if the urinary ph uh, the urinary ph can be changed so that the toxins or chemical equilibrium shift to its ionized uh, form then to the toxin can be trapped in the urine and excreted kwa hiyo tunaona kwamba hapa ani trapping uh, iron trapping hapa uh, zile dawa ambazo zinakuwa zinakuwa ni uh, uh, ni ionized uh, zina zina kuna kuna change uh, urea pH iki change uh, in results into uh, uh, those toxin chemical equilibrium uh, in a shift to its ionized form kwa hiyo ikibi shift to its ionized form inakuwa ni easily excreted ndio maana nasema kwamba uh, examples are alkalinization of the urine with systematic administration of sodium bicarbonate is useful for the treatment of overdose of aspirin and phenobarbital kwa hiyo alkaline urine favors the ionization of acidic compounds and acidic urine favors the ionization of alkaline compounds kwa hiyo tunaona kabisa kwamba hapa e, yani lengo ni kwamba zile dawa ambazo zi, zinakuwa uh, zinakuwa zinakuwa ni toxic uh, tunazi kama ni acidic tunazipeleka kwenye tunazifanya ionization uh, kama ni acidic zina uh, zina be ionized uh, na alkaline alkaline cause ki be ionized by alkaline uh, likewise kwenye 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 dawa ambazo ni ni alkaline zinakwenda ku be uh, ku be ionized kwenye acid media kwa kama zina be ionized kwenye acid media ndio maana tunaona kwamba hapa amesema acidification of urine with the systematic administration of ammonium chloride is useful for the treat, uh, for treatment of amphetamine overdose kwa hiyo maana yake amphetamine overdose kwenye itakuwa ni alkaline na hizi aspirin and phenobarbital they are acidic kwa hiyo kama they are acidic zinakwenda ku ku be ionized katika alkaline media na lengo lengo lake ni kwamba uh, kutengeneza uh, kutengeneza utaratibu kwamba ziwe rahisi ku be excreted uh, through urine volume of distribution volume of distribution is used to describe or predict the extent of drug distribution in the body it's clear the volume of distribution ovd is a hypothetical volume of fluid into or which the drug is uh, into which the drug is disseminated to be disseminated in manake ni kusambazwa it is referred to as an apparent uh, volume uh, drug appear to distribute the body as if it were a single compartments uh, drug uh, volume distribution v a uh, drug may distribute into any of 
any or all of the following compartments inaweza ka be distributed kwenye plasma ikaenda kwenye interstitial fluids au intracellular fluids tumeona interstitial fluids ni one ni, ni component the one among the component the major component of extracellular fluid lakini within the cell there is intracellular fluid na tumeona hapa kwamba uh, plasma concentration uh, plasma plasma uh, kiasi cha plasma kinachopatikana mwilini is just 4 liters interstitial fluid is 10 liters and uh, intracellular fluid is 28 liters but like intracellular fluid ni nyingi compared to other types of fluid in, within the uh, within and around the cell and uh, those three make total total body of fluid uh, approximately equal to 42 liters in pharmacology the volume of distribution is the theoretical volume that would be uh, necessary to contain the total amount of administered drugs at the same concentration that is observed in the uh, blood plasma it is the ratio of amount of the drug in the body that is dose to concentration of the drug that is measured in blood plasma and unbound in interstitial fluid kwa hiyo ili kupata kupata volume of distribution tunachukua ratio of the uh, the blood uh, the drug and the body ambayo tunachukua kama dose lakini vile vile tunachukua na, na concentration iliyopimwa concentration of the, the same drug ambayo imepimwa kwenye uh, blood plasma and which is unbound in in, in interstitial fluid zile ambazo zime be bounded kwenye interstitial fluid uh, hizo hatuzichukulii kwa hiyo we take the ratio of dose uh, dose uh, a drug in the body which is dose and the concentration of the drug that is measured uh, in the blood plasma calculation of volume of distribution calculation the volume of distribution when when you calculate the volume of distribution when 10 mg of a drug x is administered to attain a plasma concentration of 20 mg liter the simple volume of distribution is equal to dose as we saw there Uh, to the previous to the previous uh, previous slide uh, volume of distribution is the ratio of amount of drug drug in the body or dose to concentration of the drug that is measured in the plasma uh, in the blood in plasma so we have volume of distribution is equal to dose divided by drug concentration or volume of distribution amount of drug in the body uh, divided by concentration in the plasma and you have amount of drug in the body is equal to 10 and uh plasma concentration is equal to 20 mg per liter hence you have 10 divided by 10 mg divided by 20 mg per liter the apparent vo uh, volume of distribution of the drug is 0.5 or is equal to 5 uh, uh, 0.5 liter or is equal to 500 ml clean application of volume of distribution it used to determine the loading dose a dry in achieving the desired plasma level of the drug may be clinically unacceptable therefore a loading dose of drug can be injected as a single dose to achieve the desired plasma level rapidly kwa hiyo wakati mwingine uh, we need a loading dose to achieve to achieve plasma concentration the highest plasma concentration level rapidly kwa ajili ya kufanya kufanya onset uh, treatment onset action treatment ya ya ya, ya ugonjwa kwa well, sometimes we uh, we use loading dose but what is what is loading dose Lo lo loading dose is an initial higher dose of a drug that may be given at the beginning of a course of treatment before dropping down to a lower maintenance dose kwa mfano uh, mtu anaweza ku be prescribed with the, uh, with the, metronidas or uh, tablets ama uh, metronidas tablets uh, tutumie uh, ile yenye 200 mg uh, strength kwa hiyo daktari anaweza kusema let, let the patient start with the uh, loading dose of 1 uh, 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 gram which is equal to to 1000 mg ambazo kama kama 1 uh, one, one tablet inakuwa na inakuwa na inakuwa na na uh, 200 mg kwa hiyo a uh, 1000 mg maana uh, the patient will start with the 5 uh, uh, tablets uh, as a start and that is what you call a loading dose uh, baadaye sasa anarudi kwenye kwenye maintenance dose ambayo ni ya kawaida ambayo ni 2 uh, tablets uh, TBS for 5 days kwa hiyo ile 5 tablets once or start ile tunaweza tukaicall au tukaitemp as a loading dose Uh, baadaye anashuka kwenye 
maintenance dose kama nilivyosema kwamba uh, five uh, tablets once or start uh, then two tablets tds for five days that is uh, what you call uh, loading uh, dose uh, loading dose is determined uh, mathematically is determined by uh, vd which is the volume of distribution times uh, c with uh, c p target or divide, uh, divided by f uh, where loading dose uh, lod is loading dose uh, cp target is a target of plasma concentration and f is by availability of the drug from the formula above if we know the volume of distribution and uh, by availability of a drug and predict our target plasma concentration to be obtained when a drug is administered then uh, we can predict the high dose or loading dose to be administered kwa hiyo ukishajua 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 volume of distribution kwenye formula hii ukajua plasma target concentration uh, ukajua bioavailability uh, moja kwa moja itakuwa ni rahisi predict uh, the high dose or loading dose to be administered uh, let us see our apparent volume of distribution uh, apparent volume of distribution will predict whether the drug will reside in the blood or in the tissue water soluble drug will uh, reside in the blood and fat soluble drug will reside in the cell cell membrane adipose tissue and other fatty rich areas Volume of distribution also relates to whether a drug is free or protein uh, bound. Uh, volume of distribution in Ezeka data by in Ezeka to ikatosha kabisa kwamba this is a free drug kutokana na volume of distribution how the this is a protein bound the drug which have been administered have been bounded to the protein or the drug which have been administered is a free drug maana ke volume of distribution will determine these two protein bound drugs from macromolecular complex that cannot cross biological membrane and remain confined to the blood stream can be determined by volume of distribution key points uh, various body compartments are involved in the distribution of drugs distribution of drugs is affected by many factors kama tuliona kule and the volume of distribution is the, is a hypothetical volume but of clinical importance in the determining of uh, loading dose kama tuliona kwamba a volume of distribution uh, inatusaidia kudetermine au kujua uh, loading dose ambayo tunaenda kumpa uh, mgonjwa uh, let us see the evaluation you have to, to evaluate yourself uh, by doing the following questions what is the meaning of volume of distribution what are the factors affecting drug distribution uh, what is the clinical application of volume of distribution uh, list drugs with a large volume of distribution uh, what is the relationship between volume of distribution and the elimination that will be the end of our presentation and get prepared for the third uh, session of our our module uh, uh, pharmacology and therapeutic which is uh, for NTA level 5 first semester thank you